Golden Dawn's Maymac Mine is located in southern British Columbia in the prolific Greenwood Mining District. The Greenwood Mining District lies on the northern extension of two prominent geological features known as grabbins. These grabbins are geological depressions that host numerous mines and deposits. Kinross Gold Corporation, one of the ten largest gold producers in the world, owns the Kettle River Gold Milling Facility located near Republic, Washington. The mill processes material trucked from its Buckhorn Mine located 75 kilometers north. The Buckhorn Mine has a limited lifespan of less than a year and Kinross is aggressively searching for new gold deposits to provide continued feed for their Kettle River Mill. Kinross recently announced the acquisition of a 75% interest in approximately 27,346 hectare landholdings in southeastern British Columbia. The Greedwin Mining District is host to numerous deposits and former mines, the most prominent being the Phoenix Mine which produced over 300,000 tons of copper and 1 million ounces of gold. The Motherlode Mine produced over 200,000 ounces of gold. The Maymac property has excellent infrastructure, located only 3 kilometers from Greenwood, British Columbia, with a major highway and power line running adjacent to the property. On site is a 100 ton per day mill and a tailings pond with power and water to site. Underground mining has been conducted intermittently since 1894 on primarily two vein systems. Total production to date is reported to be in the range of 3400 metric tons averaging 5.16 grams per ton gold, 236 grams per ton silver, 1.5% lead and 1% zinc. Approximately half of this was direct shipped without pre-concentration and the other half processed on site as flotation concentrate. In 1975 and 76 various zones of the Skomak vein were mined from the number 6 mine level and only partly explored on the 7th level 60 meters below it. By projecting drill intersections made from crosscuts on level 6 it appears that the Skomak vein lies approximately 30 meters north of the level 7 drift. It is proposed to drive a crosscut out to this location from the end of the 7 level drift, locate the vein and drift westward on it for 80 meters. At the same time, a raise will be driven following the vein up to the number 6 level. The current model is that the Maymac mine consists of a series of parallel veins or shears. Golden Dawn recently started a surface drill program to first test the down dip extension of the lower Skomak vein and the parallel veins in number 3 and possibly number 2 adits. They will then proceed to surface drill the upper veins at the number 6 and 7 to accurately locate the down dip and northern extensions of the upper Skomak vein below levels 6 and 7. This will provide direction for underground development by locating the position of the vein. Additional mineral occurrences on the property that were previously explored by underground development are the glory hole and number one vein systems. The glory hole and number one veins have similar vein textures to the Skomak veins, suggesting that they have good potential for strike and dip extensions. A previous diamond drill hole tested the number one vein and returned one and a half meters of 7.2 grams per ton gold and 17 ounces per ton silver. As drilling continues at the Maymac mine, the company will be releasing drill results as they become available. We invite you to follow this exciting program as Kinross Gold Corp. seeks out new gold deposits in the Greenwood District and Golden Dawn Minerals advances their Maymac precious metals mine.